The Ana F24L01 is a single trip wireless transceiver module. There are two in this kit. One is fixed on the servo control board and the other is plugged in the remote controller. In this video, we will test the module. So for the convenience of assembly, we remove the Ana F24L01 module and the nano board from the remote controller first. Before the mounting, you need to take out the screws and nuts needed first. You will use two M3 by 14 countersunk screws and two M3 nuts. So take them out from the package. And here we have the two acrylic plates for the remote controller. Take one. Cross the ribbon through the plate. The ribbon enables you to easily remove the batteries. Also, you may skip this step. And please note that one side of the ribbon is long and the other should be short. and put the other plate on it. Then the control board on side. And then the battery holder at the bottom. So the part of the remote controller should be assembled in this order. Then connect them with the two countersunk screws and the two M3 nuts. Make sure the holes are aligned. Then tighten the screws and nuts. Make sure they are tightened. And then plug back the nano board and the Ana F24L01 module back to the remote controller. Then wire the battery holder and the controller board. Make sure the power source is wired correctly and the power is kept off. The red wire is to the anode and black to the cathode. Then place the ribbon on the battery holder. Then mount two 18650 batteries. And pay attention not to mount them inversely. Check whether they are wired correctly. Connect the remote controller to your PC with a USB cable. Then upload the sketch to the control board. Open IDE on your desktop. Select File Open. Find the CD folder. Then go through Code 2.nf24l01. Find the transmit.ino file. Click it open. Then similarly, select a board. Here we select Arduino Nano with AdMagger 328. Then check whether the serial port is open. Then click the tick button. And we can see done compiling. Then click the white arrow button. And done uploading. Then the sketch is uploaded to the remote controller. Remove the USB cable from the controller and keep the switch on. Then hook the servo control board to the PC with the USB cable.
Similarly, open the IDE. Find the receive.ino file under the directory cd code 2.nf24l01 receive. Similar steps. Remember, do not remove the USB cable after upload. Open the serial monitor. Now we can see the data received by the f 24 l one module displayed in the serial monitor window. Move the joystick, then the data displayed will change, which means the wireless communication is working now.